Hello and what's up YouTube? We are back with another Bank of Exile episode. Uh, we're going to be doing 10 mini episodes on the 10 principles of economics. This is all based on the work and writings of Greg Mankiw, uh, who was an advisor to uh, some US presidents, who graduated from Harvard University, um, was a professor at Harvard, uh, and has done tons and tons of work um, just in the economic realm and economic theory as well as teaching economics uh, and he's been as I said an economic advisor to several different major US politicians he's 60 years old or around 60 years old nowadays so he's still alive but uh, a lot of these principles that we're going to talk about and how they apply to POE uh, in this little mini series is credited to him so first off our first lesson that we're chatting about today is that people face trade-offs this is the very first uh, principle that Greg points out that there is essentially uh, no such thing as a free lunch. So the principle being to get one thing that we like, we usually have to give up another thing that we like. So you can think of this um, in Path of Exile. If you'd like to farm or play a particular build, then you've got to follow the things that are needed for you to play a particular build. You've got a trade off uh, between your time, between your currency and between the things that you're going to farm and pursue in order to acquire the things that you want to be able to use in POE. This is an example of a trade off. So there's two little definitions here that we need to talk about as we talk about efficiency and we talk about equity throughout the rest of this little mini series talking about the principles of economics in POE. So the first one is a definition of efficiency. So efficiency is the property of society getting the maximum benefits from its scarce resources. And then a definition of equity, which is the property of distributing economic uh, prosperity fairly among the members of society. So for example, you can think of this as uh, taxes that get paid by certain brackets of income. Um, maybe you tax higher income brackets uh, and tax them more uh, and then distribute their money uh, out to the poor. But this can be a trade-off, right? Because now instead of incentivizing people to make more and more money and build up their own personal wealth, it actually acts to disincentivize that in some cases because now what's the point in getting more money if you're going to get uh, taxed more uh, and you could actually have a return for doing less. So this again goes back to there's trade-offs. If you want to work harder and make more money or in POEs case, if you want to work hard and make lots and lots of currency, there are things that you're going to need to be able to do in order to, to have that effect, both for efficiency and for equity's sake. So what does this mean in POE? Really quickly, just summing up uh, that we face trade-offs. So first off, the first one is your time and your build. So when you're making efficiency decisions um, in the trade-offs, what is the efficiency level of your time? So how much time do you have to actually dump into the economy of Path of Exile? If you've got a certain currency goal that you'd like to hit, or you're trying to farm a particular item or a particular set of divination cards, What's the level of time that you're able to give? This is a part of your efficiency factor. And then also your build. Is your build um, efficient for you in the amount of time and resources that you've got to actually accomplish your goals based on the scarce resources that you have? Then the second aspect, this equity, uh, how does equity work in Path of Exile? So distributing our economic prosperities, well, how are you going to use the market or how are you going to use trading um, as other people acquire certain things? How are you going to use that reality of equity, that reality of there's exalts generated every single day through divination cards and through regular drops? There's chaos that's generated every single day through the recipe and through people farming. So there's more and more stuff, currency, items, divination cards that's getting added into the economy, the equity. So how is that going to be distributed? And then how are you going to take advantage of that distribution such that you're actually in the flow where you're getting that distribution as it's coming out? Taking advantage of that either through farming yourself or by using the market and by trading. So hopefully uh, this is a good overview of us fading, facing trade-offs in POE, that you've got to make a decision how you're going to build your character, what you're going to play towards, and what goals you've got in playing Bank of Exile as you're trying to make currency and build up wealth for yourself in game, that you've got trade-offs that you've got to consider as you are building. Are you going to go for a farming method where you're going to farm your currency, or are you going to rely on playing a more trading-oriented game? These are some examples of some of the trade-offs that you've got. And I would say 
Our number one tip today as you're sitting down and thinking about how you've got to face trade-offs in POE is to answer that very simple question. Are you going to rely on making uh, market uh, making the market work for you and you're going to trade your way to a greater economic uh, uh, wealth in Path of Exile? Or are you going to play your way? Are you going to acquire currency by playing? Are you going to trade or play? Now, of course, you can do both of those things. But again, in the, for the sake of efficiency, you've only got a limited number of time. Even if you play this game all day, everybody still only has 24 hours in a day. So you've got that limited number of time that you can spend on the game. So you've got to be effective, efficient as you're building up your equity in Path of Exile. Stay tuned for more of these little mini econo economic lessons as we talk about the 10 principles of economics. Feel free to like and subscribe uh, down below. And as always, you can click on the link on the bottom to support the page on our Patreon.